So this is the um, rigid mobile tool cart. And I've used some of their other stuff. It's got wheels on it, the lid comes off, a telescoping handle. And I use um, some of their other, I've got that, which is their 22 inch gear organizer, which I take the organizers out and use it to put astronomy equipment in. And I've got their 22 inch toolbox, same thing. I use it for astronomy equipment. But what I want to do today is see uh, how uh, waterproof those are. So we're going to use this mobile gear cart and we're going to see just how good it is to keeping out water. So one thing I want to show you before I proceed is that this is an, you can put uh, lacquer thinner on it and it's not affected. It does not affect that surface. I like that because uh, if you get grease, dirt on it, you can use lacquer thinner and you can um, clean it up without damaging the uh, unit. And I just put, uh, I've used this for years, put my lacquer thinner in a spray bottle. If I'm working on a car, I'm getting, uh, uh, I get grease or dirt on my hands or on tools. I just use this in a spray fashion like this and uh, it's easy to uh, distribute on your hands, your tools, your garage floor if you get grease on the floor and uh, but anyways so I'm glad to see that this uh, rigid uh, toolbox holds up to lacquer thinner. I'm going to spray this in areas Done along the side like this, up on top the handle, on the back side here of the telescoping handle. Make sure I get water all over. Down along the latches. Okay, so I'm going to try to take this lid off. And let's just take a look, see what we have. Now you'll notice this is where the seal, this ridge is where the seal in the lid goes, okay? So there's a seal in the lid. There's absolutely no water in here. You'll see some water here. This probably got in here when I lifted it up. You can see how it bubbled here? So a little bit may have got in and I didn't want to take any water. I didn't want to blow any water off of the box. I wanted the water to stay where it was. Ordinarily, if I would have been in a rainstorm, I would have tried to get all the water off the top before I took off the lid, but I didn't want to do that now. There's absolutely no intrusion of water. And I think this is a pretty good test. So it looks like it passes. So there's that seal I was talking about in the lid that goes all around the perimeter. And here you can see on the inside, underneath that lip where I was spraying, because remember I was spraying water from the side so it would splatter up, nothing got past that seal. It's underneath here, it got on the uh, outside, but nothing got to the other side of that seal.